Welcome to Lake Superior Provincial Park. This place is paradise. You gotta come and check it out yourself, but in the meantime, check it out with us. We are Cheryl and Ben Coles. We've been camping together for over 35 years. A few years ago, we started doing video reviews of Ontario Provincial Parks to help people when researching places to visit. We are now in season four of our park reviews. We hope this helps you when deciding where to have your next camping adventure. Thanks for coming along, Camping with the Coles. Lake Superior Provincial Park is 1,550 square kilometers of spectacular sceneries, cliffs, beaches, river valleys, waterfalls, and inland lakes. Located on the eastern shore of Lake Superior, it is known for having one of the darkest night skies in North America. We have our site, we are 103 and... A103. A103. Um, where did we come in? A103 is somewhere well, Here's the there. visitor center. Oh, here's the dump down to yeah. the left. We're coming here, so we'll go to the left, yes. Okay. <laughs> and then 103 is right on the waterfront, right there. Okay. Can you see? Okay, it was a little tricky to get here. When you're coming down Highway 17, there's a sign that says, Agua Bay Visitor Center, turn left. Um, we kind of went past that sign and uh, Google Maps told us to go into uh, a right turn uh, about 300 meters down the road. Uh, we kind of did that and then realized, no, we were been here once before and the Visitor Center was at the campground. So we came back and pulled into the campground. Once you go past the uh, main gate, you check in, you turn left to the dump station. It has two dump spots, one for each direction, and only one hose to fill it out. It is not threaded. Then when you continue around this loop, you end up being at the water fill station just over here. It has a bypass lane and a main lane and uh, one water fill up and it is threaded. We're all set up. Site number A-103 in Agua Bay. Oh, I should probably show you the other view. That's right, we got waterfront. Let's check out the full campsite. two campgrounds 39 kilometers apart for a total of 57 electric and 94 non-electric sites. Agawa Bay has 37 electric and 56 non-electric sites. Site numbers in the 300s are radio free. Rabbit Blanket which has 28 electric and 38 non-electric sites.
along here. Everything along there are true waterfront sites. No road in the way. Now one of the cons of this place is it is right next to the highway, so you are going to hear some traffic. This is the road closest to the highway. This is the dump station at Rabbit Blanket. It's right next to the main gate. There's one dump spot, one dump hose that is not threaded, and there's a water fill-up that is threaded. There are three comfort stations, two in Agua Bay and one in Rabbit Blanket. They all have toilets, showers, and laundry facilities, and all are handicapped accessible. There are three beaches, one at Agua Bay Campground, one at Catherine Cove, and one at Old Woman Bay. There's one dog beach, and this is it at Agua Bay. There's a visitor center at the Agua Bay campground, and there's also a park store here, and one at the Red Rock Lake Park office. Solar reception varies widely in the park. I can talk about Bell, TELUS, Virgin Mobile, and Kudo. In Agua Bay campground, we have very good service. You can watch YouTube, uh, send messages, make phone calls. Everything's good that way. But elsewhere in the park, as you're driving through it, as it is a huge park, there's areas of zero service. But if you're coming to uh, Agua Bay, you're gonna do okay. Here we are at the amphitheater. But as you can see, it's currently not in use. There's one boat launch, and it's at Agua Rock. I think it's the most beautiful scenery that I've ever seen from a boat launch. Kayaks and canoes are available for rent at the gatehouses at Rabbit Blanket in Agua Bay and also at the park office. There are 169 backcountry sites with eight access points for canoes or hiking. There are eight canoe routes totaling 150 kilometers. There are no group campsites and there are no designated cycling trails. There's 11 hiking trails in this park totaling 130 kilometers, and they range from the 500 meter Agua Rock pictographs to the 65 kilometer coastal trail. This one, the Pinguizabi, just guessing on the name, trail, takes you to Lady Evelyn Falls. It's all along a beautiful river and some beautiful falls. We're gonna check it out. We're at Lady Evelyn Falls on the Sand River. On this entire trip that we're doing, all these parks, Sue and John are gonna be with us. You've seen them in a lot of our previous videos. They do a lot of trips with us because they love camping with the coals.
<laughs> what are we getting ourselves into here? Really? Be checking out Bathtub Island near Catherine Cove. It's on a beautiful beach. Now we have to walk through the water to get to that island, and that water's cold. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day, and I will leave my windows open so. I can hear the sound of people talking and the wind blowing in the trees. I was a little concerned. I'm 5'11". It just goes up to uh, upper thigh, but uh, not to a part where it really does hurt. My legs are hurting. <laughs> Come on, just run in. You're gonna slide on your bum. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm in it now. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Go. Let's go. Quick, it's cold. 2R, Lake Superior 2022 tour. All right, Agua Bay. Agua Bay. Agua Bay. Bay. Cheers. Yes. Okay, the vault toilet situation at Agua Bay Provincial Park in Lake Superior. Um, they are much improved since we were here in 2014. There is a plethora of them. They are all nicely woodly constructed. These ones have green roofs, but I think some of them have clear roofs. There's no artificial lighting. Um, what I like is their full countertop, double sink with running water. They have soap. This one has mirrors, but most of them don't. Um, actually, some of them have a dishwashing station on the other side of them. That's more in the non-electric section. Um, somebody put a roll of paper towels, which was nice, but there's no garbage because of the bear situation. We don't want to tempt the bears, right? These toilets all are vault, um, sorry, all pit toilets, which are just a hole in the ground. No plumbing. They have a lid, which is good because you want to keep the lid down, keep the smells down. And what I love is hooks on the doors for hanging your knapsack or whatever when you're in transit. You need somewhere to hang your bag, not on the ground. Um, yeah, they're eventually, they have a mesh screen in the back. I think that's it. So, smell not too bad with them. And they're, they're very plentiful, which I really appreciate. I think that's everything. Overall, I think I'm gonna give them thumbs up. That's a flower.
How is it, John? Not too bad. Really? Lake Superior. I feel like I'm, I, my beer should be in here. Actually, you know what? I thought it was going to be a lot worse. No, we'll go in just another step. Yeah, I know we're only in about an inch. <laughs> Four kilometers north of Agua Bay Campground and a couple kilometers north of Rabbit Blanket Campground is Old Woman Bay. It's an area to pull in and rest and enjoy the beauty. This is Old Woman Bay, and right over here is the old woman. Hey! Actually, right over here is the old woman. Across the street from Old Woman Bay is the Nokomis Trail. This trail is not an easy trail. It's a lot of uphill to the lookout, then some downhill, a lot of rocks, a lot of roots, but uh, great payoff. All right, here we are, Lake Superior Provincial Park. Agua Bay. Time for Cole's notes. Well, I gotta say, this was stunning place, fabulous. Amazing, beautiful, scenic, mm -hmm. incredible. Yeah. These are all words to describe this park. Mm -hmm. As Mark. you can tell, we're pretty happy with it. Yeah. And it's not just in Agua Bay. We went out on the highway and went to, um, into some different areas of off the highway. Yeah, this uh, park is similar to Algonquin Park. Yeah, you have to. Where it's a really, really big park. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just have the one campground here. So this isn't based just on staying in the campground. We're staying in the park for this whole uh, review. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, one of the trips we made was uh, 65 kilometers away yeah. from our campground. Yeah. And we're still in the park. And that was to Old Woman Bay mm -hmm. and the Nokomis Trail. Yep. That Old Woman Bay, oh baby. <laughs> <laughs> that is some beautiful old woman. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is an incredible beach. And Bathtub Island. Bathtub Island that was, was like we were... in the Caribbean. Yeah, in the Caribbean or just... With ice cold water, mind you. We were in paradise there. It was yeah. just... It was, it was amazing. The beauty was stunning. Yeah. And just even driving the highway is stunning too. Yeah, just beautiful vista after beautiful vista as you're driving the highway. Um, yeah. This, this is uh, more of a scenic camping trip. 
Yeah. There isn't, there is no biking trails. There's a few um, trails to hike, which we did two or three oh, there, of them. Yeah, there's... Yeah, there's several hiking trails. Yeah. But you have to drive to get to them. Right. Um, as far as, like, children's programs and that sort of thing, I don't think there's no, really anything... No, I didn't anything. see any of that. I didn't actually see a whole lot of staff in this park. Yeah. It's, maybe they're on Skeleton Crew. I don't know, but... Right. It's pretty... Yeah. Um, um, yeah, so we said all the, all these great, beautiful, scenic things and stuff like that, mm -hmm. but... Uh, Amazing sunsets, too. Oh. Amazing sunsets. So, at home... In southern Ontario, the sun sets at uh, 9.02 p.m. right now. It's uh, July 14th, mm -hmm. and the sun sets at 9.02. <laughs> Here, it's at 9.35. Um, we were sitting by the campfire <laughs> at 10 p.m., and uh, there is still light in the sky. It's still a nice sunset. It's like it goes down, and then it kind of comes up again or something. It's, it's a forever pink, sunset. It just pink. doesn't end. Mm -hmm. I tried to do a time lapse <laughs> on it. And my camera battery died because it just never seemed to really lose the color in the sky. Um, we've also wanted to stay up to see, uh, this is a, a dark sky preserve, so it's supposed to be some of the most beautiful stargazing here. Mm -hmm. But we're so active during the days and we're doing so much, <laughs> we can't stay up late enough. We're going to bed at 11 o'clock and the sky isn't dark enough yet. So uh, that's pretty amazing. So what do you think about the sights? Well, we have a waterfront site. We're in A103, mm -hmm. and the site is huge. Like in some other parks, this might be two, three, maybe even four sites. Um, even on the other side of the trailer, we've got a ton of room. Yeah, they're pretty wide for pull-through sites. And we basically have an unobstructed view of the water. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of trees, but we're seeing Lake Superior right there. and an island just incredibly beautiful. So it's pretty awesome. When we filmed our uh, Grundy um, Coles notes, mm -hmm. we filmed it here. We had the camera on the other side so that you could see the background, but it turned out you can't even see the background because it's so bright behind us, it was just all white. So that's why we turned it around this way is you're not gonna see that beautiful view anyway when we're talking. But, um, so there's not a lot of privacy between these sites, but they're pretty far w wide and the trailer is pretty much block you in, so. And there's a, we're, we're giving up privacy because of these beautiful tall pine trees. Mm -hmm. um, They're pretty cool. And I'm quite happy to give up some privacy for this, uh, this, this look. Yeah. And, and just walking down the roadways, just going to the comfort station, walking down the roadways and the beautiful tall pine trees, it's just such an incredible look. The further down you go in the non-electrical, they're more secluded, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and the uh, we're con we're kind of waterfront, but there is the the uh, roadway in front of yeah. us because uh, this is a pull-through site. But down when you get into the non-electric sites, you are actually on the other side of the road, so you are truly waterfront. So mm -hmm. your campsite is the beach. That's right. Mm -hmm. um, the really only negative thing about this park is how close it is to the highway. Yeah. Uh, you hear the highway quite a bit, mostly trucks going by, um, but you know what? This park is so incredible that that's one of the things you uh, just have to put up with. Um, during the daytimes, we're not spending a lot of time in the campground. We're out, we're, we drive to all these different places for hikes and, mm -hmm. and journeys. Yep. And speaking of driving to all these places, there are no gas stations on this road if you haven't been here before. Um, the Voyager um, Trading Post, which is, I don't know, back down Pancake Bay way. South of us, yeah. Yes, um, that's your last fill-up station. So if you're kind of going low on gas, I suggest filling up there before you come here because you're gonna have to be driving to go to the, all the other things and there's no gas stations anywhere on the highway. They actually have a sign at the Voyager yeah. saying, last gas for 150 kilometers. Yeah, otherwise you're waiting till Wawa. Yeah, so pay attention to that. If you need some gas, get gas before you enter the park because mm -hmm. the park is big and uh, there's no gas in the mm -hmm. park. That's right. And as well for groceries, like everything you need, you'll have to get at the trading post and it's what? Half an hour, 45 minutes from yeah, us from here. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, so keep that in mind. There's two comfort stations, you said. Yeah, and what did you say about the showers? Oh, yeah. 
We'll have to post a picture. <laughs> That's like the best shower I've ever had. It's like, it's got a, it's a system and it's got good force for the water and you can adjust the temperature. That's the best shower you've ever had? I think so. In a park or just in life? <laughs> <laughs> I think in life, definitely in a park. Yeah, this was like the best shower. I wish all the other parks would follow suit. And that brings me to the point, if you've never been to here before, the sign was a little bit confusing. It just says visitor center. And it has some symbols underneath. Yeah. But the words say uh, Agua Bay Visitor Center. So you think that's just the visitor center, so you keep driving. And it's Google Maps actually doesn't take you to, even though it says Agua Bay, it doesn't take you to the Agua Bay campground. It takes you a couple hundred yards down the road to some uh, like logging road or something and tells mm -hmm. you to turn right in there when it's a left turn to get into Agua Bay. So you can't trust Google Maps on it. So if you are coming to Agua Bay campground and when you see the sign visitor center, that's the entrance you take. Right, we went past it. And our friends went past it. <laughs> yeah, and they went They went quite a distance past they it. went like 40 kilometers past. We went past it, and what was very fortunate is our friends were filling up at the uh, trailer fill station. And they saw us and drive past. And they saw past. us drive past and phoned us and said, you just passed the place. So we're very fortunate for that. Yeah, good thing our cell service was working for that yeah. part. And we'd been here before. So uh, when we drove ago. past yeah. and we saw the sign that said visitor center, we were talking new? to each other is going, Oh, I thought the visitor center was at the campground. <laughs> Maybe they made a new visitor center away from the campground. No, it's still here. Um, yes. Yeah, so, um, so you think we're time for rating? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I would say this <laughs> pretty, is... pretty uh, pretty much... This is as top. close to a 10 as you can get. We'll say... Yeah, we can't give it a 10 because of the road being so close. And, and one it, other negative that I forgot to mention is, and it can't be helped, but that water is cold. Lake Superior is cold. Well, we, we did walk through when we went to Bathtub Island. You have to do that. Yeah, and it, so and it hurt. Suck it up. Yeah, it hurt. It was But there's numbing. no way you're going swimming. Well, some people oh, yeah, there's, go in and yeah. I think they're crazy, but uh, yeah, it's it's there's no way I'm submerging myself in there. And on that note too, I'm a little leery about going out on a paddleboard. I rarely fall from the paddleboard, but uh, it does happen. Mm -hmm. And that's a cold dip. And I tell you, I'd get back up on that paddleboard faster than you've ever seen me move. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so not, yeah, that takes away from yeah, the, the swimming. 10. The swimming, you can't, it's not the best for swimming. Like there's nice beaches here, but the swimming's like really cold. Right. So. But we're still gonna give it. A nine and nine a half. Nine and a half. Okay. So tomorrow, where are we going? Sleeping Giant. We are going that's to our, Sleeping Giant. That's our main destination. It's been on the bucket list for a while. Yep. We're going to do four nights at Sleeping Giant. Mm -hmm. And uh, Cheryl is going to hike up to the top of the giant. That's my goal. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned. She, she trained for it today as she did the uh, Nokomis Trail. Oh, I didn't like that trail. No. It's a very rough trail. It, yeah. Yeah, we'll just, we'll we're done with it. We'll see how the top of the giant works out. <laughs> so, you might hear back from me, you might not. <laughs> Until then, we'll see you later and happy camping. Bye. I'll try.